Uh, let's now go. Okay, let's answer a question here from the forum. So using BNT is taking rewards on liquidity. Okay, hello, I'm very interested in providing liquidity through Bancor. Now that they have solved in permanent loss, I would want to stake up to 50% of my portfolio, but I'm not sure if there's risk that I am unaware of. The staking rewards are amazing. Okay, so are there any other risks in terms of staking? Well, I would say the obvious risk is just smart contract risk, possibly getting hacked. Um, there are ways to cover that through getting cover or insurance, whether through my favorite platform, Amor, or through others like Nexus Mutual. But I think it, that's definitely something you, you can do. But Bancor is one of those more well-respected projects where obviously nothing is guaranteed, but it's less likely that a hack would happen, but still worth looking into that, especially if you're going to be depositing a lot large assets. Um, Forrest, are you an LP for Bancor? I think you mentioned earlier, right? You're using it. Yeah, I am. Um, and I think you, you covered the, the risk portion of it. It's essentially smart contract risk. Um, but in a bull market where you can see these assets, these individual cryptocurrencies just completely moon and leave, you know, other ones in the dust, especially, right now with ethereum being such a popular pair for providing liquidity um in ethereum you know underperforming against the rest of the market so if you paired it with if you if you provided liquidity uh, in an eth pool with something that's performed extremely well you've probably seen some impermanent loss there um so i, I would say impermanent loss is is one of the larger risks when it comes to providing liquidity especially in a bull market and the fact that Bancor solved that makes me uh, feel that Bancor is one of the best places to provide liquidity in a bull market. All right. Thanks for us. Bill, any comments on your end? Yes. Briefly, uh, don't do any one thing with 50% of your portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> right. As soon as I heard the question, I knew that the details of impermanent loss would be left to my colleagues. Um, you have to be careful of the unknown unknowns, right? That thing that, you know, you don't know that you don't know. So stick to more reasonable numbers as an experiment. Always protect yourself and diversify yourself. Just as a reminder, the legacy financial system has gotten tested multiple times. There have been events that have tested the integrity of the system. Uh, I'm really not anticipating that for DeFi, but one day DeFi as a system is going to get tested and you're not going to sleep very well if you have half your money in one place. So just be careful. All right. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. I mean, um, great point. Practice proper risk management. I personally myself never put half of anything, even for staking your yield farming, even when the gains are amazing, because as we mentioned, besides impermanent loss, Products do get hacked. I mean, even the best products, even products with great code reviews get hacked, right? Because anything is possible in crypto. I mean, because even the DAO for on Ethereum got hacked back in 2016. And in DeFi, they've been hacked almost every single month. So you want to be cautious. I personally don't put more than 20, 25% of any position into any staking or liquidity pool. So definitely be cautious, uh, especially if you're putting in large amounts. Also get insurance, right? Because with me, I, I put in, let's say 25%, and then I have all, all of that insured through Amor, right? So definitely make sure you're practicing proper risk management. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.